Let's get started. What's up, guys? I found this beer left over from some campers and I'm totally wasted. No way. <laughs> this is wild. Collab of the century. Let's go. Everything that you have seen is completely AI generated, fully automated, and the best part, it's free. So, today, let's build an automation using Google's most powerful video tool, which is VO3, and we're going to use N810 as well, an automation tool. And guess what? We're going to make everything for absolutely free. And hey, if you stick around till the end, there's a huge, huge surprise waiting for you and you don't want to miss that. All right, chapter one, we're going to get access to VO3. All right, guys, so here's the deal. We found a Google Cloud platform and it's about to get crazy. You can make mind-blowing videos using Google's VO3 model through Google Vertex AI Studio. And here's how you get started. All right, so the first thing you need to do is head over to Google Cloud Console, create a free account. Yes, it's absolutely free. Yo, and get this, when you create an account, you get $300 worth of free credits for 90 days. That's more than enough to get crazy with your experiments. All right, so once you're in, you can check out the sidebar menu. It has all of the Google tools, but for this video, we're just gonna be sticking to Vertex AI. All right, so click Vertex AI. From here, go to Media Studio, and then generate video. Boom, sorted, you're in. Now, this is where the magic happens, because now you can select VO3 from the models available, type a prompt, and you're good to go. All right, so check this out. A cinematic shot of a Yeti vlogging in the Himalayas. 4K, dramatic later. That's all we're gonna do for now. And let's see what it churns out. Welcome back to my vlog. For today, we're up in the Himalayas. <laughs> you know, I'm actually comparing this to the other Yeti videos that I've seen, and this one actually looks like the Yeti. The other ones look like orangutans and stuff. But it's pretty wild, right? But let's be real. Doing this manually is cool, but sometimes it takes too much time. So here's our game plan. Instead of generating videos one by one, we're going to automate the entire process from idea to prompt to final generation and store everything in a Google Sheet, which is the automation. For the automation, let's use any tip. Free and open source. It works like magic. All you need to do is drag, drop and connect. All right, so before diving in, let's break the entire automation process into three simple steps. The first one is going to be idea and prompt generation. Second is going to be video generation. And the third one is going to be storing everything. If you're new to the channel, then make sure you check out this video where we've used N8N before and we've gone into complete detail. So if you feel like you're getting a little lost, please check out this video and then come back to this one. So now we're tackling the first step, which is idea and prompt generation. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to start by putting a trigger. Now you can either set a manual trigger or a schedule trigger that runs daily or on a custom schedule, whatever you want. We're going to go with the schedule trigger so the workflow runs on its own again and again. Whenever the trigger fires, we need an AI agent to start the process because we need a fresh idea to make the video. All right, so now we're going to set up an agent node with Google Gemini as our AI model. And let's name it as Ideas AI Agent. Also, going further for every user message, system message, or JSON, or anything, we've already made a document right here. And we'll keep copy-pasting whatever we need from there. So for this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in, give me as many ideas of a Yeti speaking to a camera and doing a vlog. Okay, so that I've put in the user message area. But you can ask for anything. You can literally do anything you want. You can ask for a man on the streets of New York talking to random people. You can ask for an alien talking to other aliens in a Vox Pop style. Or if you want something controversial, then you can even do a dude on the beach in Goa not letting anyone surf. Anything. It's up to you. So let's just do a quick recap. We've got the trigger and we've got the agent node. So now what we need to do is add a think tool. So this node invites the AI agent to think before answering. It's especially useful for complex prompts, all right? What this basically does is it lets the AI talk to itself first before spitting out a response. We want these ideas in a structured format. So we'll edit the JSON output and pass it accordingly. We'll also quickly update our system message in these to reflect that. So now we need to set up our Google Sheet for storing all the information we got from the AI agent we just set up. So now let's go to the Google Drive and create a sheet named VO3 N10 Automation. We'll update all the columns in the sheet based on the JSON output we expect and connect them all inside of NA10. So the Google Sheets node in NA10 just tells it to work on that sheet. We won't ask it to create or delete spreadsheets, but just going to append and update rows in the spreadsheet that we've already created. Okay, 
So we've already linked our credentials to connect with Google. Now we just need to map out all of the columns manually. All right, so just take a look over here. Just follow what I'm doing. Cool, so now we've built the entire idea generation pipeline and we're gonna be storing all the ideas in Google Sheets itself. Okay, so let's try to execute it once to check if it works. Sorted, it works. And you can see our first idea right there in the sheet. All right, so now we want another AI agent and this one we're gonna name the prompts AI agent. This one will generate prompts from the ideas that we've given because we've got the ideas now and we need the actual prompts to send to Vertex Studio. Okay, again, we're gonna go back to our Notion sheet where I've put all of the user messages and we're gonna copy this user message and paste it here. So we've already figured out the thing tool and the model that we're gonna be using. So we're just gonna connect them to the prompts AI agent. Now we're on to step two, which is video generation. Now Google Vertex currently has no direct integration with Anytel. So we're gonna have to manually create an integration using an HTTP request. All right, so we're gonna need to gather some values from your Google Cloud project. And in order to do that, you'll find this button called get code. So once you click on the get code button, you will have access to details like your project ID, your location, your model, and your API endpoint. An important point to note over here is you're also going to need your access token. So make sure you open Cloud Shell and run this code. And once you run this line, you will get a huge access token from the Cloud Shell and you can use it. All right, so now that we've got all of these details, we're gonna need a wait node to let VO3 generate the video before we fetch it. This usually takes like less than 60 seconds for VO to render the video. So once the video is done, we need to fetch it. So add another HTTP request node in N8N. And we're going to use the same endpoint, but this time we're going to be asking, hey, Vio, is my Yeti ready? Fair enough. After you enter that, you're going to get a base64 encoded video file in the response. So now we're going to decode whatever this base64 encoded video file is. And to decode it, we're going to convert it into a .mp4 file using N8N's built-in functions. You've got to pack extra yak butter for the high passes. Trust me on this one. Now we're moving on to step three, upload to drive, log the sheet. So now let's add the Google Drive node to upload the MP4 file. Let's name the file same as the idea. Now, finally, we're going to add the Google Sheet node to update our previous Google Sheet with the shareable drive link. All right, and you're done. With that, you now have a fully logged, auto-generated, VO-powered Yeti video pipeline. Insane. Too long. Yeah, a little bit too long. So now you have a fully logged video generation model that you can use for anything. We've used it for Yeti specifically, but you can use it for absolutely anything. Create a faceless account, get millions of followers, and get some cash money, bruh. The surprise. I know a lot of you have been waiting for it, so here you go. All right, that was a lot. And you could follow all of that step by step, or you could also use the surprise. We've linked the exact any 10 and JSON file for the entire workflow in the description. So if you're thinking about getting a little creative with your ideas, make sure you try it out and let us know what you think. You can literally import it and have this entire AI video engine running in less than 10 minutes. No repeating steps, no copying prompts, just import, connect your credentials and go. All right, so with Jugaad Pro Max, we managed to show you how to use Google VO3 in India to generate cinematic AI videos. We automated the full pipeline using N810, and we even linked the exact JSON setup so you don't have to start from scratch. And now you can build your own idea to video engine in under 10 minutes. If this helped you, make sure you hit like and subscribe, but more importantly, drop your wildest video channel idea in the comments. Make it weird, make it original, just don't make it boring. So until next time, ladies and gentlemen, keep building, keep experimenting, and we'll see you in the next one.